All right, now the next letter here, I think the initials are HJW, I think, from Winchester, Kentucky. Okay, so hopefully you'll know who I'm talking about here. Um, <clears throat> have a nice little card. Meep. Smiley face. My son liked that one. Dear Brian and Catherine, I'm writing um, unto both of you to let you know how much I enjoy your YouTube videos and how much of an awesome blessing every one of them has been to me. I particularly love the good or the food prep videos you do, the natural organic foods you prepare and don't even prepare. Um, look absolutely delicious as I know they would be. Whenever you do, uh, you have done your YouTube videos outside, I can clearly see that you live out in nature's beautiful area uh, of your town. I know that um, regards writing and is increasingly becoming a lost, um, or regular writing, I guess, is, is increasingly becoming a lost art, so to people, or so to speak, but I, I'll be uh, so ever humble and honest to tell you that I'm now 55 years old and still don't know how to use a laptop computer due to a stroke when I was born uh, has slowed me down in my learning uh, capabilities. I'm a born again Christian and I pray often. However, I now I strongly feel uh, like I do need to start reading my Bible and, uh, and going to church again. And careful on that one, but we'll get back to that. I've been really bad on neglecting that in my life. The reason I haven't been going to church is because the only, the one I found back in 2000 in which I loved so much has moved away, I guess, and into the country and is being, being our limited income. It takes of too much of our gas going back and forth for eight miles, um, two ways every Sunday. It was the Holiness Church of God now since they moved out and to the former Providence Elementary School. It's now the Providence Pentecostal Church. Um, okay. I loved it so much. Um, they were so much like family to me. I consider myself a God-fearing, KJV-only, Bible-believing woman um, whom I... Uh, who I consider to be living a very um, humble and holy life, perhaps not to extremes that you do, but plenty enough that God is sure to be very well pleased. <clears throat> I firmly believe everything you um, say concerning the Word of God and the wicked, perilous times we live in and... Uh, the imminent return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. However, now I don't take the Bible and live according to it to the most extremes and to the way, to the very dot and and tittle, jot and tittle, I guess, the way you do, in which I have no conviction of God because um, by because I'm also a firm believer that everybody is different and we're not all of the same levels spiritually and we all don't grow of the same, at the same rate, and that everybody's problems and circumstances are unique and different as we are as individuals to each other, and God deals with each of us, his children, differently. I will admit there are some things I really struggle with in my walk with the Lord, but it keeps me on my knees and close to him as I fight darkness and principalities daily, as we all do. I remember you saying that you and your wife were 29 and 36 when you got married. I was 36 when I got married, and my husband, Leonard, was 40. Um, <clears throat> we got married on uh, October 22, 1994. Um, we have two beautiful children. Our son, M, sorry, I said the name of the husband there, is now 23 and still lives at home with us. I had a hard labor and delivery giving birth in which 
he lost a significant amount of oxygen to his brain when he was born, which has affected his mental capabilities. He was born on uh, August 20th, 1996. Our daughter, M, now 20, and is attending UK in Lexington, Kentucky, um, and is majoring to be a music teacher. She was very talented in playing the oboe when she was in high school. Um, she was born on January 1st, 2000, or excuse me, January 17th, 2000. There are a lot of things I'd like to discuss with, and there's a lot of questions I need to ask you about. So if you do, don't mind, I'd like to, I'd like for both of you to please give me a call when you can. Hope to hear from you soon. Um, <clears throat> gives the phone number, gives the contact information. Um, in terms of calling, uh, that's very difficult because there's so many people that we're in contact with and um, this whole ministry thing has really, really grown to where we can't really handle a whole lot of this stuff. But, uh, you know, what were you going to say? means University of Kentucky. University of Kentucky in Lexington. Yes. So kind of figured that, but thank you. Um, so thank you very much for your letter. And, um, you know, in terms of questions and things, I've spent many years answering people's questions. So I would say before you want to ask questions, just do a search on my channel for whatever your question is, and there's probably going to be a study on it. Okay. Um, so that's going to be it. We'll move on to the next letter.